Right, so here we are in a field called Sherald's. Uh, this was a potato field and then went into wheat and is now planted with oilseed rape. So uh, this morning it's very cold. What's the date? 30th of August and incredibly cold on the bike. So just been putting some slug pellets on. Now then you can see the slug pellets here. Just had a look at uh, the rapeseed, and there it is. So uh, you can see the rapeseed plant down there. Still a bit of moisture in there, but on top is quite dry. Uh, this ground has now been rolled. It's had a pre-em application as well, uh, and now we finished it off with the slug pellets, and hopefully get a bit of sun, a bit of rain, and uh, get these guys germinating and uh, up and away. So. Um, that back over. Uh, yeah, we've got some winter beans behind us, uh, just behind the quad bike, so they'll be harvested in the next couple of weeks. It's a lovely spot here, actually. Just in the, in the distance up there, you've got uh, Hay Bluff, which is a, a nice walk to go and do. Um, and then rapeseed stubbles, so that's all going to Come wheat, got some poultry muck to uh, to go on there, and then the quad bike here with the helmet. So you might have seen uh, I did a day with NFU, um, all, all related to quad bike and helmet safety. So uh, not only keeps you yourself safe, but it also is. Uh, good for keeping yourself warm, your head warm anyway. And I've got some AirPods on which are quite good so you can hear them a little bit better. Listen to some music or a podcast while spreading away. Um, but these are just a Sparta helmet and if, you've, if you're with the NFU these are, these are on discount so worth looking up. It's a Stocks Fanjet uh, Pelleter. And if we just have a jump up in see the slug pellets in there so um, and then we get these the spreader has to be tested every five years um, the slug pelleter whereas the spreader we get tested every every year is in for fertilizer and um, the fertilizer spreader and the spray gets a, a similar test so there we go um, back to the farm now to warm up it's another block finished. Uh, so this is a variety called PT303 from Pioneer. We've got DSV Darling uh, and then we've got a variety called Matrix which is a, a clear field variety just in four fields spread across the area that we've planted. So um, yeah, one of the students had, had a bit of a breakdown on the drill yesterday related to a Coulter arm. Um, obviously bound to happen on a, a bank holiday weekend but one of the students has been to TH White in Warwick this morning and uh, well Matt himself and gone and got the part hopefully so we'll go and fit that finish a couple of headlands drill a couple of middles um, and then we've only got four fields left after that up in Yarsip so there we go wheat harvest is, uh, is finished as well so just the beans left about that. I'm going to go and warm up because it is incredibly cold. There we go. Uh, oh, um, I was going to do a video with Gemma. We did a question and answer one. It's probably almost two years ago. Might be over two years or last year. I'm trying to think where it would have been. I know the field but I can't remember what crop was in there. Uh, but anyway, a year or two ago and quite keen to do another video so it's probably two years ago actually so if you've got any questions that you would like to be answered about anything then please put them in the comment section below and when we get around to doing that video we'll um, answer them. There we go, righto, see you again.